Hi, in this session I cover how to create an amortization table and there's also a feature in here where we can put in a prepayment amount and we can see how much time and money we would save if we prepay a loan. So let's say for this example we decided to buy a house and take out a loan, $300,000 loan for 30 years at 4%. And this uh, we would need to find out what the payment is per month and for that in Excel we need to have the calculation of the total months which is basically 30 times 12 and also the interest rate per month which is the 4% divided by 12. With those values you can input the data into this payment function this formula and basically we have our rate which is the interest rate per month the um, number of payments for the loan which is 360 our present value which is three hundred thousand dollars and the future value we, we want that to be zero we want to pay off the loan and the type is zero uh, it, payments will be done at the end of the period um, or if it's blank it will just default to that particular value so we click OK that gives us our payments for a month um, and I've already got this table populated out here so um, we have our interest that we're going to pay for the first period. We have the principal paid. We have the, the new balance uh, when we minus the balance, uh, when we minus the principal paid and any prepayments from that month's balance. So we can see here, let's say that, for example, if we want to, we had an inheritance and we were able to pay Porsche part of the loan off with $50,000. Now, originally, this 30 year loan, which would end in 2040, if we paid fifty thousand dollars in uh, May, we may have actually paid off that loan early, about a good eight years early in 2032. So I'll show you in this example. I'll show you how to create this table. Let me go ahead and delete that. Let's create this table from scratch. And I'm just going to bring some values over just to make it a little bit easier. Let's select these particular cells and let's just bring them over here and uh, I control C to con and then control V to paste let's uh, double click these to spread them out a little bit so the first period is going to be the zero period and ba basically that's the start of the month let's also um, increase these column widths double click that so the new balance is going to be equal to this 300,000 and the cell B5 uh, what we also want is the next periods so an easy way to do this is actually equals this plus one so we're going to be oops plus one so basically we're going to be adding one as we copy this down we'll be adding one all the way down now we can we can go ahead and click and hold and drag it all the way down to cell uh, let's see this would be cell 370 371 but instead of doing that I just really let's go ahead and uh, control Z to undo what I can do is click in that cell press control C to copy and then up here since we know that um, 11 plus 360 that's gonna take us to cell 371 I can just type in a 371 press shift enter it's gonna select all those cells up to 371 and then I press control V to paste and it's gonna paste the formula and as the formula gets pasted down it increments so that's kinda nice little feature that I learned from Excel is fun it's got a good uh, YouTube channel there so check it out uh, learn some good stuff there now for the months let's go for let's say that we decided, decided to get this loan in the first of um, January and 2011 uh, we can also enter February 2000 February the 1st 2011 press enter and we can just select these two cells and double click the fill handle here and Excel will automatically increment each of the months so that's kinda nice now we can take the balance from this new balance here that gives us that value uh, and for the interest that is going to be this balance multiplied by the interest per month here so press and that's got to be uh, an absolute value because that when we copy down eventually when we copy down this value down here we need to make sure that's locked for that cell so we press F4 make sure the dollar sign is in front of the B and the 4 control enter will keep us in the same cell now the principal paid that's going to equal uh, the balance minus excuse me that's going to actually equal the payment
payment because the payment is going to be the same every month and that's got to be absolute value because we're always going to reference that because we're going to copy copy uh, these this formula down so that also has to be an absolute reference what we're going to do is press F4 to make sure the dollar sign is in front of there and we're going to minus the interest paid and press control enter so what you see here is these two values when you add them up together they're going to equal the payment so part of its interest part of its principal now this new balance is actually going to equal the balance that we had beginning of the month minus this principal paid minus any prepayments. So go ahead and press Control Enter and we see we have our values. Uh, let's go ahead and select this and give them all a dollar values. Now what we can do here now is going to select all these and double click the fill handle and it will bring all the formulas down. So we see that we it's done that. One thing to note before we go on a little further about this value is that you've noticed that there's a minus sign here and so if we didn't have that minus sign there it would actually show a negative value and in a way this is kind of correct because this is saying we are having a negative uh, our cash flow is going out of our pocket to the bank so it's kind of negative cash cash flow coming out of a kind of coming out of our pocket but I kind of just wanted to kind of keep this a little bit simple uh, and just put a negative value there so we have an absolute value so it kind of just shows up kind of nicely here um, also another thing to note is uh, with this calculation um, you'll see that w in the view we have it the decimal out to the tenths place but in reality in the Excel this value is if we increase the decimals we see that there are more values out from the tenth decimal place further out and so this is used in the calculations here and uh, when when we have these values, when we have this full value which Excel is calculating out, we're going to see some differences in the eventual new balance in the in the eventual balance here. And in reality, we don't we don't pay this amount. We only pay it up to the tenth place, right? We only pay it up to fourteen thirty two twenty five, and this has got to reflect that. And so because it's referencing that, so what we want to do is we don't want to pay the 14th or 25 out to the hundreds place. We want to pay it just out, out to the tenth place, 25. So what we need, we need to do is make put a round uh, formula in there. So we want to round this value. Uh, when we're doing the calculation, we don't have that value rounded to the tenth place. So it's the second one, two, that's the tenth place. So close parentheses, control enter to stay in that cell, and we'll go ahead and double click double click the fill handle to bring the calculation down. So we notice that there's the the, the values that change here in, in some of the penny settings, the tenth place. And that is reflective of how we want to see um, the calculations done here. We don't want to see it done all the way out there. We want out to the maybe a thousands, hundred thousand place. We want to see it done to the tenth place in the decimal. And so that gives us our a nice little figure here. So what we're going to do also is, let's say for example, um, we go back to the example where we paid off $50,000, right? Now if we go down here, go to the bottom, we'll notice that uh, the values do change. Let's say we want to clean this up a little bit. We don't want to see the negative because we're not going to pay negative. What we want to do is change the formula here and saying uh, if this value is greater than the monthly payment that we're supposed to pay then that's fine um, so we say if that value is greater than this monthly payment that we're supposed to be paying and we make press F4 to make that an absolute setting that's fine we'll, we'll continue with the calculations that we have but if it's not what we want to do is have this value minus this value right so that's gonna give us so this will basically when we, this will basically give us this total so we're paying we're paying the interest of that and the difference in principle here so we want to go ahead and double click this to bring the formula down here and also uh, drag, click and drag to bring the formula back up here. 
in case we have we decide we got the fifty thousand dollars in the second month here. What we also need to do when we look at this is uh, we have this value kind of stuck out here. So what we need to do is also with this, we need to put an if statement here saying if this value is greater than our monthly payment, that's absolute F F4, absolute value, then we will continue with the same calculations. But if it's not, it's going to be zero. And the reason why it's zero is that we are going to be paying that full amount there. That's the last amount. So we're not going to be paying the calculation of that minus the principal and any prepayment. So we we'll go back in the cell where we created the if formula, double click that to send it down, I click back into the cell and click the fill handle and bring it back up here. Drag and drag it up here to copy the formula upwards and we can see that we had our fifty thousand two seven four two four seven eight two four two nine and that's going to be the same if we did our 50,000 here 2478 and let's say for example uh, we're in a situation where we're, maybe we didn't get $50,000 uh, in inheritance yeah, delete that well, maybe we can pay a hundred bucks every month as a prepayment and we can double click and bring that down and instead of paying off the loan in year two, 2040, it says we can pay it off in 2037. So this is kind of a nice table that lets you see if you had, if you were able to prepay an amount, uh, where you would be in terms of paying off a loan early. And so this is the amortization table with that prepayment uh, feature. Hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching.